the best thing in the world is to mix the coleslaw with some of the brisket right here. This brisket is ridiculous. Good morning everyone, I hope you're all doing amazing. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here in Northern California. Right now I'm at the Heritage House Resort, about a 20 minute drive south of Mendocino, right here along the Pacific Ocean. The view from my room is incredible, and today I've partnered with Mazda to take you to Heidelsberg. We're driving about an hour and a half to Heidelsberg, that's in Sonoma. I'm super excited, we're gonna do a lot of stops along the way, we're gonna eat some delicious food. If you didn't know, California has yummy, yummy food. It's so good here. And this is my car for the day. I got a Soul Red MX-5 Miata. I'm super excited. And I got a soft top today. Yesterday I had a hard top. Today I have a soft top. Oh, this is gonna be amazing. It's really incredible driving this vehicle along the Pacific Coast Highway. You know, it grips the road. And look at this. Oh, oh I can't wait. Let's, let's turn this on. Ready? Woo, right there. Always put on a seatbelt. It's a little snug in here, but I love it. Woo! It's really incredible. This thing has a lot of power. So in the Miata MX-5 soft top, it's a little different than the hard top. The hard top is a button to open to be convertible. Let me show you how you do it here. So you open it, you push back. Done. That's it. Let's go. So our first stop is gonna be the Van Damme State Park. John Claude Van Damme? John Claude Van <laughs> So we made it here to our first stop and it's like a pygmy forest. There's a boardwalk. We're gonna walk like 0.2 miles and we're gonna see some beautiful trees. Wow. The temperature here is amazing. It's like 75 degrees. Don't really need a sweater. It's not really that cold right now, but this is beautiful. Check this out, guys. The land on which the pygmy forest now grows was once under the Pacific Ocean. Geologic uplift and changes in the sea level exposed the land and created a series of terraces, each about 100 feet higher than the other, and 100,000 to 200,000 years older than the one below. Pretty amazing. I had no idea about this. This is really cool. This is extremely peaceful. As you walk the boardwalk, you see signs of different trees and plants from the area. Right here we have a boulder pine. The boulder pine is unique to the pygmy forest. These trees are close relatives to the beech pine that grows along the coast and the lodge pole pine in the Sierra Nevada. Pygmy cypress and boulder pine often grow in thickets of cane-like trees, although very small, are biologically mature and bear fertile cones. Pretty cool facts. It's awesome, so as you walk, you learn. That's what I love about road trips. You get surprised with every place you go to. Love it. My man, so we're going next. Mendocino Headland State Park. Gentle trails, rugged coastline, and secluded beaches surrounding picturesque Mendocino. There you go. So we arrived here in the town of Mendocino, and we're about to go into the state park. There's trails, a rugged coastline, secluded beaches surrounding the picturesque town of Mendocino. It's a cute small town. I'm sure there's a lot of Instagram worthy spots here. This is really beautiful. As you can see, the coast is full of these like huge cliffs. The water's coming in, very nice. And right here, as you can see right here, is like a cave that goes under this piece of terrain. From right there, I think I'm gonna have to go down. And as you can see, I mean, it's really dry right now. All the brush is like dead. But that's how it is in Northern California, Washington, these areas. During the summer, all the plant life dies out. It just gets really hot, you know? This reminds me of the coastline in Ireland, also in England, with these huge cliffs. I mean, as you can see, it's like cliff after cliff, and there's like all these like secluded beaches. It's just beautiful. I'm really enjoying this place. Mendocino, beautiful. This is something about California. California road trips, I've actually done two in my life so far and it's just like it's really really beautiful everything's so scenic you can see there's the pacific ocean right there's the hole i was talking about earlier you actually saw it in the middle there wow and it's like a blowhole i mean it's the water goes in and it just explodes out 
Other shots there. Oh, Matt, good. Manatina is a really cute town. Very small, but beautiful. This is really what America is all about, you know? Small towns, really cute. We're gonna get a quick coffee and continue our road trip, but yeah, I, I really enjoy stuff like this. I mean, this is really off the beaten path, you know? Not that many people come here. And yeah, let's, uh, let's get a coffee really fast. So we're deciding where to go. We're thinking maybe going to an apple farm on the way in. There's 17 different points of interest, but some of them take about an hour off road. No, I've been, I mean, I've been to an orchard. Same thing, right? I guess so. I think yeah. the apple farm just has apples mostly. <laughs> Why it's <like> an apple. <laughs> Part of what we're doing here on this road trip is getting beautiful shots of the car with the coastline. The coastline here in California is so beautiful. And you can go forever. I don't even know how many hundreds of miles it is, but it's a huge state. We've entered Highway 128 on the way to Hedosburg. As you can see, we're driving through redwood trees, some of the largest trees on the planet. Right here, we actually have one that fell, and we can go into it. Look at this. Oh my God. Oh! Walking through a tree right now. <laughs> Amazing, dude. That's something you have to know about Northern California. There's a lot of redwoods up here. But definitely take the Highway 128 to Healdsburg, either going to Healdsburg or going to Mendocino. This is my favorite drive so far. Mine too. <laughs> hey, there's like hella Miatas here already. Oh yeah? Look at that, the apple farm, we made it. We've got some friends here. Do we? This apple farm started in 1910. He actually has nine trees that date back over 110 years. Right. And basically what they have here is they have apples. They have like six or seven different types of apples. They also have cider, they make jam, they have apple juice. And it's, it's pretty funny here. So basically there's an honor system. You come here, see the price, you put your bill in, you get the change and that's it. Pretty cool. I would love to try some cider, but I have to buy the whole bottle, so. Oh darn. Oh darn. I mean, the syrup looks amazing. So I'm gonna try a crab apple. So you said it's tarty, right? <laughs> sour. Mmm, very sour. Pretty good. And then here he has some carry Irish Pimpin. I've never heard of any of these apples. Color is great. I'm getting just get an, an apple juice. Oh an apple juice with small. Which a small? A small. And what does that cost? 250. 250? Mm -hmm. Well, here's 20, so get me some change. Thanks, Dad. For this. So you put your large bill in there, and then you get the rest, so get my money back. You put a 20, so. This is apple balsamic. It does have sugar. It doesn't have added nice. sugar in it, but it does. A little sour, but it's really good. Sure. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. That was really cool. That was cool. I enjoyed it. I got my juice. Yes. Right from the orchard. Wow, that's pretty ridiculous. It's the freshest apple juice I've had. It was so good. Oh, Our next stop is lunch. We're going to Hamburger, Ranch, and Barbecue. So we're debating if they have hamburgers, ranch, and barbecue, or if it's a hamburger ranch. I think it's a hamburger ranch. I think it's a hamburger ranch as well. I'm excited, barbecue up here. I'm sure it's really good. California barbecue? Not bad. It's not bad, right? Yeah. Risk it? Sure, I like brisket. I love brisket. I hope for some brisket, some spare ribs, and some coleslaw. And some fries. And some fries, yeah, for sure. <laughs> we made it, we made it. World famous? Uh, brisket, cold LA pork, potato salad, and macaroni and cheese. This is the star of my show here. <laughs> New YouTube star. All right, so I decided to go all out and get brisket, ribs, coleslaw, and french fries. Looks incredible. Let me start with this. Oh, brisket? Oh. But it needs barbecue. We have like three or four different barbecues here. So I'm just gonna open that little space right here. Try a little bit of that one. Mm. Some more of a sweet barbecue. 
This one, very different. Oh, this one looks hot, really hot. You can smell it. What's the difference between these barbecues? Okay, this one, our red lips are spicy. Is it spicy? Yeah. This okay. one's our sweet. Okay. And that's a Carolina. It's a vinegar-based mustard sauce. So spicy, sweet, and Carolina vinegar-based mustard Are you sauce. Blogging? Yeah, I'm blowing, I'm blowing. It's amazing. Wow. We have to dip this. Yeah. Looks amazing. Oh yeah. Oh, with the spicy barbecue. Right. Mm, not too spicy. It's more sweet and spicy. Oh man. Try the Carolina. It's different. Oh, yeah, they did. They said 12. Tastes more like a honey mustard. Oh, the meat just falls off the bone. So here she brought me the ranch. Dip it here. Mm. Oh, yeah, really good. Now let's try some of the coleslaw. Oh. Mm. It's really wet. I feel like there's no mayo in this coleslaw. It's delicious. The best thing in the world is to mix the coleslaw with some of the brisket right here. This brisket's ridiculous. It's not too soft, but it's still like very tender. I love the combination of brisket with coleslaw. Oh man. I'm in love with the brisket. Like, it's so, so good. This rib has a nice honey glaze. Mm, very sweet. You gotta dip it in, get some barbecue. Oh. Mm, this barbecue joint is a hidden gem. In case you guys don't know, I can eat barbecue every day. I fell in love with barbecue growing up, but when I went to Dallas, Texas, barbecue of Texas changed my life. And I really became an addict with the brisket. Now, like, for me, it's usually brisket and pork ribs. Mm. I feel like, like any real barbecue enthusiast prefers brisket over everything else. It's softer and has way more taste. I can go forever with this. Mm. Well, that's it. I ate the whole thing. And the spicy barbecue, the best. Yeah. And mixing with coleslaw and brisket. Amazing. Yeah, I'm really full. Yeah. Super yeah. good though. So we're going now. Hillsburg? Yes. What's the name of the hotel? Hotel Hillsburg. He's lying. Hillsburg. He's lying. Yes, it is. Is it? Yes. All right. Awesome. And look at this amazing Miata. My God, it's like it's boiling right now, right? Super hot. Woo. It's crazy how on the coast it was freezing and here it's boiling. It's probably like 90 degrees right now. Well, I'm excited. I can't wait to go to the hotel and check out my room. So we are going to Hotel Hedelsburg. It is located in the town of Hedelsburg in Sonoma County. This is one of the best wine regions in America. And obviously we're not drinking wine because we're driving. But uh, yeah, it's a boutique hotel. It's only a 20 minute drive. Hedelsburg. Not Heidelberg? Not Heidelberg. It's Heelsburg? Heelsburg. I mean, Heelsburg. the name is very German. Yeah, but it really reminds me a lot of the town of Yontville. Uh, that's a town in Napa Valley. Oh. Very similar. Yeah, don't worry, don't worry. And uh, yeah, here we're about to get to the hotel. I can't wait to see my room. We made it. Wow, that was easy. Hotel Heidelsburg. Hillsburg, Hotel Hillsburg. You say it's amazing. Wow. This is my room at Hotel Hillsburg. This is one of the premier boutique hotels in downtown Hillsburg. And super beautiful finishing here. I love the furniture. The bed looks amazing. King size bed. Got a nice chair here. Oh, super comfortable. I cannot tell you enough about this bathroom. It's gorgeous, marble throughout, super luxurious. I mean, the room itself is ridiculous. And I hope you guys enjoyed the day. We saw Mendocino. We drove on Highway 128 down to Hillsboro. We stopped through the Redwood Forest. I've actually never done that. I've never driven through the Redwood Trees. I've only stopped at the ones near, uh, near San Francisco called the Mere Woods. I just did it last year with my family. 
and then obviously hamburger, ranch, and barbecue, a must visit if you wanna eat barbecue in this area. Super delicious, yummy, brisket, oh. And the three different barbecue sauces, spicy, sweet, and then a different one, it was like almost like a honey mustard barbecue, so good. And I really enjoyed this trip. Driving in California is something you have to add to your bucket list, and definitely do it in a Mazda MX-5 Miata. Super, super awesome driving in that small sports car. I loved every second about it. You know, you hug the road, you take these amazing curves and you go uphill and it's just like, that was, that was awesome. And convertible, can't beat that. I hope you guys love this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you on the next travel adventure.